family owned business feeling the heat today as temperatures climbed this week. There was little relief inside a local beauty salon. The now Casey's Mackenzie Nelson takes us to Independence where the Golden Dower so Golden Door Salon has been serving customers without air conditioning for nearly a week now. The sign says open, but the front door of this beauty salon stays locked. And we put the sign up that says no walk-ins. And for good reason. Ruth Sanders has owned the Golden Door Salon in Independence for almost 20 years. In the last four, the salon has been vandalized, broken into, and robbed at gunpoint. At least I had a customer and I had a customer. And they got one of my rings and some money off of me and some money off of some of the others. That was two years ago. This week, for the third time, the air conditioner at the salon was vandalized. Hairspray and humidity do not go together. Since Tuesday, fans have been running in the nearly 90 degree salon. We work through it. We got to make money to pay our rent. So. You got to do what you got to do. The first two times they were able to fix the damage. This time around, the salon needs a whole new unit. They try to get the copper out of it, anything that they can sell off of it. Ruth says they filed a police report. She says the salon had also taken precautions to prevent this from happening in the first place. We put up a gate uh, where we could lock it because that was what the insurance said. We should try to put up something. The gate didn't stop the vandals. Now Ruth and others at the Golden Door Salon worry crime and independence is growing. I don't know if there is a good neighborhood anymore. You know, the damage caused is more than $4,000. The salon is hoping to have a new AC by this weekend. In Independence, Mackenzie Nelson for the Now KC. As you feel for them, uh, we left messages with Independence Police to talk about this case and overall crime in this city. Our calls have not been returned yet.